Welcome to episode nine. Today, I am talking about cleaning the house because it can seem like a never ending cycle when you have a million things going on. Even though we love our kids to pieces, it can be overwhelming to constantly clean up after them. But fear not, mama. There are ways to stay on top of things without feeling like all you do is clean. First off, let's acknowledge that the younger years are just a phase. Your kids are young, and while it may seem like you're stuck on Groundhog's Day, it won't last forever. So try to take a deep breath, give yourself some grace, and know that even if your house isn't spotless all the time, that's okay. But if you're like me, you don't want to look back and think that all you did was clean instead of spend time with your kids. So here are some tips that have helped me keep my sanity while also keeping my home somewhat clean. First, having a regular cleaning routine can help you and your kids know what to expect, and it can also help you stay on top of things. I'll put a link for my free cleaning schedule in the description. Second, get your kids involved. Even young children can help with chores around the house. Make it fun by playing music or having a cleaning dance party. Assign age-appropriate tasks, such as putting away toys or wiping down surfaces. This not only helps you keep the house clean, but also teaches your kids responsibility and independence. I'll put a link for my favorite cleaning products for kids in the description. This always makes things way more fun. Third, create a cleanup time. Set aside a specific time each day when the whole family can pitch in to get the house back in order. This gives you a chance to relax or get more important things done. Remember to keep it short and entertaining so everyone can enjoy their free time after cleaning up. Fourth, set up a reward system. It can be helpful to set up a reward system for your children when they help with housework. This could include a special treat or activity of their choice, family movie night, or extra screen time. Be sure to thank them for their hard work. Remember, you're doing an amazing job. Cleaning the house may seem like a daunting task, but with a little bit of planning and some help from your little ones, you can stay on top of things without sacrificing all of your time and energy. I hope that was helpful. I know how stressful a time consuming the housework can be, but when it's clean, it feels so good, doesn't it? Just keep in mind that us homeschooling families are spending a ton of time in our houses, working on our little ones, our relationships, and ourselves, so some days or weeks, it just isn't going to be clean. All right, that is it for today. Thanks for hanging out.